the American flag. We are start, first going to start with making a new object and we're going to name this flag since we are making the American flag. We can then add a box. We're going to change the dimensions of this box but not the color. So the dimensions are going to be 150 by 5 by 5. And then we can then move this on the z-axis by 2.5. We can then duplicate it, change the color to white, since we are doing the different stripes, and change the coordinates to 7.5. Then duplicate that whole thing again, so we get four. Change this to 12.5, then 17.5, and then we can duplicate the whole thing again. All the coordinates stay the same for each line so far. So this is going to change to 22.5, this is going to change to 27.5, and then we're going to have a 32.5. This is where it's going to change. So the one that goes above the 32.5 is going to have a width of 90, and we're going to change the x-axis to 30. And then we're going to change all of those things again so that this would be 90, and then this is going to be 30. And change this to 37.5. And then duplicate that, move it down. You should all be 90 and 30. And we're going to change that to 42.5. This is going to be 47.5. And then we can duplicate those two again. Change the coordinates. 52.5. And then, of course, 57.5. We are then going to duplicate only one again. Put it at the end. And this is going to be 62.5. This should be all you should have for the red stripes, the red and white stripes. Now we're going to get to the blue part of the flag. So I'm just going to drag in a new box instead of duplicating it. So this box, we can change the color to blue. This looks like a good blue to have. And then we're going to change the width, the length, and the height. So the width will be 60. The length can be 5 still. And the height can be 35. We are then going to move that. And we're going to change it Z to 47.5. And then the X is going to be negative 45. We can then create a group just to make sure that there are no lines. We can just make sure that everything works out. Ooh, and then we see we have a mistake here. This accidentally got changed to red just so we make sure. And then there it is, perfect. Now we have to add these stars. So we're going to create a new object. We're going to do different rows of them, so just to make it easier so we don't have to do the full 50 stars. So we're going to name this stars 6. So this is going to be rows of 6. We're then going to add, scroll down and add a star. This star can be changed to white. And we are then going to change how big it is. So the sides stay the same except for the radius. The radius is now 1.5. The inner radius should be 0 0.5 again, but the height should only be 1.5. So we're going to keep that for all the stars. So we have a constant of them. 
and we're going to rotate this. So we move down to modify and we're going to get the rotate. This is going to be along the x axis and we're just going to need to rotate it. We'll see how it goes right now, but it should keep at 90. See if that works. We can look down, see if that's how we want it. We won't, yes, that's exactly how we want it. We want it face up. So now we can move it. So it's going to be moved on the Z axis by 62. Y axis is going to be negative 2.5. And then the X is going to be negative 70. And then that should be our first star. So just to make sure we're going to play it and it should pop up in the corner. And there it is in the corner. And then we're going to duplicate this again. We're going to need to make six of these. But we're going to change the coordinates a little bit each time. So the Z should again stay the same. The only thing we'll be changing is the x. So this is going to change to negative 60. We're going to be going down each time. So then just to make it, this is going to be four stars that we have. So we should have a negative 50 and then a negative 40. And then we can duplicate that again. to get down there and change it to negative 30 and negative 20. So that should be your six stars and that is exactly how you have it. And so we'll see if we have our first row and then we can duplicate them again so it all makes rows. So now we're going to make an add copy, make sure it is not connected to the actual thing and we're going to go to data, get star six, because that's what we're adding the copy of. And we're gonna move it down. So click the move. It's going to be moved down by negative seven each time. And then we can do that, duplicate this so that we have it four times. So get it. And then you should be good with all of these rows. And then we can work on the fives. So while this loads, you should get the stars and then each row. And there you go, you have those rows. Now we're going to create a new object. This is going to be stars five. So name it stars five. And this is going to have five stars instead of six stars. So a little bit easier. And of course we are going shapes, getting the star. It's going to stay, the dimensions are going to stay the same change it to white, five still, and then the radius 1.5, and then the height will change to 1.5. Again, we are going to rotate it. Just put that there. You don't need to change the degrees. It should be just 90 degrees. And then we're going to move. And this one is different than before. So it's going to move up to 58.5. The Y will be negative 2.5 still. And then it's going to be negative 65 for the X. And so there's our one star. We're going to make five more of it and change these. These are also going down by five again, I mean 10. Um, and then we're gonna duplicate that three, 
activate it again. Here I was showing you how to make the American flag. And it stopped right as I was telling you about the stars five. So, so far you should have three stars. If you don't, then you can just copy that code right there. But we're going to duplicate this again just to make sure we can do these two. So we have five. And this is part two from part one. So we can change this negative 35 and then negative 25. And then you should be good. And then we're going to add a copy of the object to make sure it's not connected like before. Stars 5 is what we're adding a copy of. And then just like before, we are going to move it down by negative 7. So down negative 7. And then we're going to duplicate it, but this is only going to be three times since we do not have as many rows of the 5. So then once you get it, you should get what I had on my screen before. And you should get it as it takes a little time to load. So it might be slow. So you just got to wait for it and then it should have it all at the end. You can see your rows being built. And then we're copying them each. And then there you go, the American flag. I hope you like this and I hope you had a super fun time building it. Thank you.